Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable and truly special astrological month for you. In fact, I do think of all the zodiac out there, it is going to be you that feels a sense of fresh starts, fresh beginnings, fresh, new, transformative, empowering energy all around. And a lot of that really is thanks to the new moon in your sign. Right around the 17th of the month, we have a beautifully aligned new moon, which will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and with Pluto. Now, there is also a harmonious connection to Jupiter, but not as precise as these more important heavy power players like Pluto and Saturn. And what this suggests is that things are changing for you, that you are able to take the lead on the changes that you want in your life, that you are implementing the new and the next. You are understanding the direction in which you're going, but it is very rooted in who you know yourself to be. Whatever it is that matters to you most, whatever it is that matters to you first, is going to come into focus now and a deep conviction that lends itself to long-term results is part of what begins here. This is about starting a fresh chapter in life and that is going to look different depending on the Virgo out there. For some, it is gonna be related to actually physically being somewhere else. For others, it's going to be a fresh chapter in terms of your approach to your work or what you're doing. But for others still, it is going to be a fresh chapter in terms of how you relate to other people. Now, regardless, remember, it is what is nearest and dearest to your heart that is going to have the biggest blessings. And this is a shift in identity. You get to see things in yourself that you didn't realize were there, and it changes who you know yourself to be. It is Pluto that is the planet of a catalyst moment that truly can transform just about anything. With Pluto speaking in supreme harmony with a new moon in your sign, well, the new moon itself is a brand new year, your personal new astrological year. With Pluto there, it is a year that changes you from the inside out. It is a beginning that represents a profound transformation. And with Saturn, it is stable, it is steady. And this transformation now is for the long term. It is Pluto and Saturn both that are moving through a part of the sky that is very heart-centered, heart-oriented. And it asks you, do you have full love heart here? And that, of course, is in every area of life. Do you have a life that you love? Do you feel that you are in alignment with the things that bring your heart joy or not? And it is going to be a depth of commitment to being that person who can be in alignment with those very people, places, things, and situations that is part of that sense of what is beginning for you now. Now, before we get to that new moon, taking it to the beginning of the month, right around the second is when we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is taking place in your opposite sign and it is speaking in harmony with Uranus. Now, this is partnerships of all kinds, which includes business partnerships and professional alliances as well. And I do think that it is other people now who might take you by surprise, uh, whether it is in terms of the opportunities they're able to facilitate for you, whether it is in terms of what perception they bring that helps you to see yourself differently. But it may also be a sense of you coming to an understanding as to the role that they play and whether or not alliances are gonna continue going forward from here. If it is that you are in certain professional alliances that feel like they haven't been serving you for a while, well, that person may surprise you now and help affirm a healthy sense of shared prosperity. But it may also be the case that if it has felt like a certain alliance has served its purpose, well, it may be at this time that you feel that much more empowered and encouraged to change things and to either evolve or bring things within a particular alliance to a close. Now, regardless of what happens, remember there is happiness, things are moving quickly, there is good fortune all around, 
And so it does look like it is a lovely boost for you here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it really is all about that full moon. That full moon represents an important moment for you in the context of romantic partnerships as well. And if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, this full moon is one of the more positive windows throughout the year, really, of connecting with someone in a meaningful way. The connection may take you by surprise, but ultimately what full moons in your opposite sign show you is where you are in love and why. And thankfully, because of that Uranian connection, there's also a sense of happiness to go around. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is a moment of truth for you in the context of who this person is and is going to be for you and whether or not you feel there's a genuine connection here. If it is that it does feel like this is a genuine connection, it may surprise you how quickly things come together to solidify the bond. But if it is that there is not necessarily something solid here, well, things could evolve and change very quickly and perhaps someone new comes in as well. And for those of you who are in an established bond, well, look, for the small percentage of you out there who might not be in the right bond for you, well, it is going to be this full moon that makes that clear, along with the best ways in which to bring things to a close uh, for the highest good of all concerns, certainly, but also with greater ease as well. It doesn't look like there is animosity here. It looks like there is acceptance and excitement for the future. However, if it is that you are in the right bond for you and you feel that and you know that, then it is going to be this very energy that helps to bring lighthearted energy, to bring excitement, to bring a new sense of possibility, and it brings love very much to the surface. And so the fullness of the love that you feel for each other comes forward now, along with a sense of excitement as the both of you are looking to the future ahead. What I love about this month for you, well, look, in addition to the things I mentioned, we've got big moves happening now. Mars is going to go retrograde right around the ninth of the month. This is huge. And I spoke all about this in the Mars retrograde special horoscope, which I will link in the description below. But we also have Jupiter going direct and Saturn going direct this month. And when we have these big, powerful energies changing directions in this way, it suggests that this is an important month. Both Jupiter and Saturn are in this heart-oriented part of the chart for you, and you are connecting to the power of your heart, the power of your desire, and the power of what it means to be in love with the life that you live. It is going to be a month like this that says you are committing more deeply to a life that is more fulfilling. And as you do that, the rewards are quick to come. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.